Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Superfood Sunday. So today I am going to be talking about a Chinese herb called Lohan Go. <laughs> I think I pronounced that correctly in English. Um, and the reason why I've been making all these videos, I don't remember if I've explained this to everybody, is that I am totally a research-based person. So anytime I buy something such as a car or I'm doing research on nutritional things, I totally like dig in, I dive in and I do that research. So with these videos, um, my purpose is to do the homework for you so that you can decide what to do. Um, as a side note, none of these superfoods are necessarily, I don't know, FDA approved or however you want to say it. Um, I mean, they're foods you can buy in specialty markets, and today's food you can buy in a um, in an Asian market. Um, but again, buying all of these superfoods separately, it could add up to a lot. But I just wanted to dive in and share that with you. So those that don't know me, my name is April Payne, and I am the CEO of April Miller Coaching. And this is my gift to you to share Superfood Sundays. I have a YouTube channel where I will upload these videos and I have uploaded these videos um, to share with others if they're curious. Um, so anyways, let me get right to it. So like I said, the Lo, Lo Han Go um, is a monk fruit um, in Mandarin. So it, um, it has a lot of health benefits and the health benefits have mainly focused on cough, cough relief, um, colon cleansing, weight loss, and physique enhancement. So in uh, the Chinese, <clears throat> excuse me, the Chinese have actually hailed this as quote unquote, the immortal's fruit. So the end of spring and beginning of summer, um, the families in China use it to make tea um, to treat um, cough, which might be caused by lung infection or by a cold due to seasonal weather variations. So this fruit is really high in nutritional value and it actually can be consumed in a few simple ways. Um, besides making tea with boiling water, you can use it to stew soup um, and you can also use it in a dried form as well. Um, and it mainly comes from Thailand or Southern China. Um, so what exactly is a monk fruit? So as its name says, it is a fruit. Um, and it's grown on a vine. Oops, I'm trying to get my resource here. Um, it grows on a vine and um, there's lots of different names for it. It's um, usually collected in the fall when it's harvested, um, in particular when they're turning from light green to a dark green and then it needs to dry them at the fire and they have little hairs on it so it gets rid of the hair. And then it's used raw in medicine. So it's a climbing vine. Um, and so I will post a picture of what it looks like as well. Um, but it's, um, the stems are like a dark purple, the fruit is green um, and it's got leaves on it. So, but one thing that I found that was really, really cool about this fruit is that it contains non-sugar natural sweetener. In fact, um, it, ca it contains um, uh, protein, vitamin C, um, iron, manganese, nickel, tin, iodine, I mean, just lots of different, um, lots of different vitamins within it. So, the benefits. So, like I said, it does a lot of like with um, clearing and moistening your lungs. Um, and the modern medicinal studies have proven that it, it contains one kind of sweetener that's more than 300 times sweeter than cane sugar. And it's no calories, zero calories. So this is actually the best sugar substitute for those who can't eat sugar. Um, for example, uh, patients of obesity and diabetes. So this is like like a super, super food, I think, in my opinion. Um, so it's a, one of the best sweeteners, like I said, for diabetics, and it can also help treat diabetics too. Um, it's very rich in vitamin C, um, which makes it a wonder herb with anti-aging, anti-cancer, and skin properties. And it um, can also help with losing weight. Um, 
It's a very healthy and a safe sugar substitute. And it clinically, it's widely used for treatments of whooping cough, constipation, acute bronchitis, acute tonsillitis, sore throats, and gastritis. Um, so those are the main benefits of it. Um, they have not found any uh, side effects because it has such, such low toxic, toxicity. Um, and there hasn't been any known side effects and drug, drug interactions with this fruit. Um, but again, I'm going to caution and still talk with your doctor. I am not a doctor. Um, so please talk with your doctor if there's any, um, you're taking any medicines or have any other health issues that are going on before you take this. You can get it at an Asian store. In fact, I was reading um, somebody's um, story about it that really helped with as far as being sick. Um, and they took it in a dried form and it did wonders for them. So look for it in the Asian market. Um, and anyways, I hope you enjoyed this um, episode of Superfood Sunday and have a great Sunday.